Have you ever wondered what's inside of a phono stage? Have you ever wanted to build one? A phono stage is a device that applies gain and EQ to your, the output of your cartridge, your phono cartridge, the needle. It takes this signal, amplifies it, applies the EQ, which is called a RIAA curve, sends it to your preamp, and then the preamp sends it to your amplifier, and you hear it through your speakers. But internally, there's a lot more going on inside of a phono stage. So let's, let's talk a little bit about the blocks that make this up. And the phono stage that I'm going to describe for you is, uh, is going to be uh, th a three-stager. So it's going to have three different stages that we're going to talk about. So the first stage is going to be a 30 dB gain block. I'm going to call this just like AV as in it's a straight gain block. And this is going to be the input. The next stage is going to be the EQ, which is called the I, the R I double A curve. From there, we're going to have to apply another gain block Man, I'm running out of space here, uh, which is going to be another uh, flat 30 dB gain block. That is a phono preamp. So now we're, I'm just going to talk about what's inside of that. This is an op amp. Inside is a very complex uh, arrangement of transistors and resistors and capacitors to create an amplifier. And today you can buy these, you know, ch chips from a uh, you know number of sources for under a dollar even for a pretty darn good chip. Um, we'll talk about a bit later about what sorts of uh, m uh, parts I recommend, but uh, this is your traditional symbol for this op amp. And it's going to have a non-inverting input, it's going to have an inverting input, and it's going to have an output. And this is going to be our first stage. So we're going to make what's uh, called a non-inverting amplifier. And what I'm going to do is, see, this is the input, because I want to go into the non-inverting. I don't want to invert this signal. And I'm going to actually filter it. with a capacitor. So this is going to take care of you know, RF and high frequency stuff that's going through here. And we're going to make that 100 picofarads. And here, I'm going to add the loading, which is it's going to be a, a, a straight resistive load on the cartridge to actually create the frequency response and to get the frequency response correct. It's not, you're not creating it. You're, you're setting it and loading it so that the frequency response of your cartridge is correct based on the source impedance. So I'm going to make this because the traditional moving magnet cartridge is 47 uh, kilo ohms. I'm going to make this 47 kilo ohms. And that's, that's not that the cartridge is 47 kilo ohms. It's that the recommended loading is 47 kilo ohms. So, and then on the, not, on the inverting input, which is the negative input, 
we have to apply feedback to set the gain of the op amp. So in a non-inverting amplifier, the feedback is set up like so. So that's, that's your feedback resistor going in. And this is our feedback network where we're going to be able to set our gain of our first stage. And so I'm going to set this for, uh, for certain resistor values to set our 30 dB, because we want 30 dB here. And so the equation for a non-inverting amplifier is going to be AV equals RF divided by R1, and this is going to be RF, and this is going to be R1, plus 1. That is the equation for a non-inverting amplifier. So let's set that. So we need 30 dB. 30 dB is roughly uh, 30 times voltage gain. So the ratio here want to make it roughly 29. So that's going to be, I'm going to do a 3K resistor here, and I'm going to do a 100 ohm resistor plus a 3.3 ohm resistor. So you have 3,000 ohms divided by 103-ish which is going to be roughly 29. So that's going to give us a overall gain of 30. So that is our first stage. And it's applying a constant uh, gain from roughly 0 hertz here, which is DC, uh, all the way up to the top of the bandwidth of the amplifier. And we're probably limiting the overall bandwidth with this. Um, there are compensation techniques, which means you're limiting the bandwidth even further. Uh, but we don't need that for, for this application, this simple design here. So my next uh, video, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the next stage uh, and what that entails. So stick with us. Thank you. Bye.